Alright, here we go! The 3.7 live stream's about to begin! Who is Whoa. this? You must be the legendary traveler! I've heard a lot about you! Who is this? Are you following the tournament too? It's a pleasure to meet you! I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Charlotte. from Fontaine. I've oh! Been posted here to cover the King of Invocation. An early Grand Fontaine Prix. character already? Since you've also taken interest in the tournament, how would you like to be a special contributor for my column? Of course, you'll receive payment as a contributor, and your name will even appear in the credits. If I'm not mistaken, you're even acquainted with some of the contestants, right? Oh ho ho! I really do have an eye for Holy shit! We got a Fontaine die. character already. Like this will be a oh, they're really, really teasing Fontaine now at this point. Exclusive inside scoop on the renowned. I, I like her little monocle on her left eye there. Masters. That's cute. How does that sound? Yeah, it has a nice ring to it, no? Yeah, it's just a working title for now. Any journalist worth their salt knows how to look past the surface and get the real story on any breaking news. But it's important to always keep the stories based on actual facts. We can always discuss Is she a reporter or like later. a, I guess, a newspaper writer course, or something? I'll be covering the latest stories from the King of Invocations Grand Prix. But I'll definitely be keeping my eyes open for any other potential. Can you hire the music? Okay, um, when it comes I'll turn to it up a bit. News, I'm always the first on the scene. Ah, anyway, I won't keep chatting your ear off. There's a lot more exciting news. Holy to shit! Be so Is she gonna be look. like playable, like when Fontaine comes out? Oh, trailer! Trailer time! Hmm? Do my ears deceive me, or do you two have some breaking news to share with me? Wow! Oh. Oh, it is oh, like everywhere. Hmm. How very interesting. City on the Lake team. <laughs> of course, Kai is going to take part. As young prodigy, best Favonian cavalry captain. Down on the ground. Yeah, we're going to all four around. regions. Well, oh, this is hype, the actually. <laughs> is that Utawa here? Of course. Of course, she would participate. <laughs> Hey, I predicted it. Okay, then Kazuha rerun confirmed. Oh, of course Yai is there. The nerve, saying that in the presence of me and A. Lightning from Inazuma won't be able to reach me in Fontaine, right? Yeah, this Charlotte. Oh wow, she she looks adorable. I should let you go first. So I'm guessing that she's gonna be like one of the first Fontaine characters. Wait a minute. That's Kirara, isn't tournament? it? The tournament has already finished. The yep, Sumer too, of course. I used for hand at the opportune moment. In all the cards. Hey, Kirara! There she is. Is that a sword? <laughs> Gotta say, I like her design. Does she? Did she turn into a box? <laughs> Duel, the Summoner's Summit. Oh, wait. Oh, those are all the four contestants of, like, each wow. region. So, this is Sumeru? There are so many huge mushrooms Yo, here. Yoimiya, what, what are you They're doing here? On. Uh, Yoimiya rerun confirmed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Okay, that was a lot. So, Kaya, Hutao, Kazuha, and Sino are getting involved in this tournament. So just only those four? <laughs> why Why? Why uh, Kazuha though? <laughs> but Kazuha has no interest in TCG, but I guess not. I guess that's wrong. Also, Yoimiya's there? So, okay, predicting the reruns, Yoimiya, Yai, and Kazuha are very likely. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Genshin hey, Impact version I guess I, this is why they didn't program. show the chibis, because they didn't want to spoil Sarah Charlotte. Cruz, the voice of Lumine. And I have a new friend here with me. Make sure the truth comes first and report stories that stand out the most. <laughs> this is reporter Charlotte from the Steambird. A pleasure to meet oh, you. Oh, the Steambird. Hey, ah. Everybody. So, where Mona works. Duddle, or used to work. Of Charlotte. And as mentioned just now, Charlotte is a reporter from Fontaine, and she's currently working for the Steambird, which many of you may have probably already heard of. Oh, for sure. It's been mentioned in several places throughout the game now. Yeah. And if I remember correctly, Mona also writes a column yeah, for Mona. the Steambird. 
so it seems like it's pretty famous, and people all across Nevada are reading it. Yes, so that's right. Is Charlotte going to be like the, the one of the first like Fontaine characters that program. will be playable? We also have other special correspondents. Well, I guess she's not in this update, but maybe in a future update, all the information like 3.8 or something. Upcoming version. So exciting! Okay, I bet everyone's ready to see what we have in store. So why don't we dive right in? <laughs> okay, seems there's quite a lot. Going yeah, on look at that. Here. Yeah, I thought that was Yanfei at first when I saw like the picture. And no, it's yeah. The cute one in it's the middle uh, with pink Charlotte. hair and a camera in her hands must be Charlotte, right? Ooh, uh, that's right. Wait, wait, look at the chibis. <laughs> the one with the camera. Look down here. She is a <laughs> Kirara's like right next to them. Ready at all Kirara times. in box form. So in the upcoming version, I, I didn't know Kirara could turn into a box. Or should be okay, to I'll just listen now. Genius Invocation TCG competition. Given that the competition is an international event, Charlotte will be heading to several nations to gather her oh, wait, materials. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, it's Kokomi. Okay, it's not Kazuo, it's Kokomi. from different nations in the picture here. Does that mean that she's going to be traveling around to that then? <laughs> you bet. As a foreign correspondent, she'll definitely Dude, we're going to go to all like four regions location, just to so participate in the get TCG. Ready to embark on a genius invocation TCG journey. Whoop, whoop. However, a keen and active reporter like Charlotte won't only focus on the genius invocation TCG event, even though that's really important. <laughs> but during this journey, she will also be investigating a very strange case alongside the traveler. Ooh, mm. a strange case, huh? One that involves all four okay, nations? That does actually sound really newsworthy. Yeah, right? But uh, that's all I can share for now. The mystery will be yours to unveil in version 3.7. So if you want to find out what happens, mm. make sure you don't miss out. Yay! She might come out in 4.0. She might. Time in, this event. in addition to the event storyline we just introduced, the Adventurer Guild has <laughs> yep. also prepared some other event mini It's time to do 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 That's right. Oh, there will be a total a of bow. four event oh, games, okay. including a tour Ibis of Wonders, Piercer. Zero Hour Invocation, Ever Motion Mechanical Painting, and Heart of the Dice. In a tour of wonders, Heart the of the Dice. set up checkpoints in various <laughs> I'm not being subtle there, After Genshin. you complete the required challenges by navigating obstacles what? or defeating monsters, you'll be able to obtain hey, commemorative stamps Hey, this is a TCG tournament. So collect more of these Why do I gotta do physical activity? To obtain the corresponding <laughs> rewards. Okay, I see. So the stamps will be like proof of your experience traveling in different nations during the event. You know, just like collecting stamps and a passport. Exactly. Next, we have Zero Hour Invocation, which is an unofficial tournament organized for our passionate TCG players. Unlike the official tournament matches, this format adopts a hmm. special rule set, so you won't be able to use your own decks. Oh. Instead, you have oh, a Shenha card? By selecting cards oh, Zhongli! Hell yeah! Organizers. And an electro aquatasis card. Against some familiar faces. Hu Tao card? There's, <laughs> okay. Oh wow, there's a bunch Sounds of cards like coming out in this. All right, what about Evermotion? Hu Tao and a Shao card as well? Part of the Dude, everybody's getting I cards. Think many of our travelers have played Evermotion mechanical. Oh, the before, gear, yeah, the gear events or the gear mini game. Dreamer from Fontaine has undergone a few new changes. So this time around, okay, so just these are just the mini games. That's a good surface. Yeah, by swapping that's gonna come in the update. And then install the appropriate gears on the preset points to restore the painting. And I've heard that the paintings are all based on Genius Invocation TCG cards. <laughs> How awesome is that? That's going to be so cool. And based on the people we've met, you should never underestimate Fontaine's pursuit of mechanical designs. But of course, I'm sure our keen travelers should be able to restore those paintings with just a few attempts. Or more than just a few attempts if, if people okay, need so yeah, it. you will be actually <laughs> able to play TCG in this event. Heart of the Dice, which is a combat <laughs> Heart of the Dice. During combat, you mean Heart of the Cards? Random <laughs> elemental dice by defeating monsters. Use the suppressive what roll the skill to consume all the dice you possess and unleash a shockwave that deals damage okay, to Okay, so I gotta opponents. use dice while, while I fight for my life. <laughs> More dice consumed matching the elemental type of the active character will result in greater damage dealt by the shockwave and higher chances of obtaining more buffs. Okay, it seems like these are some special dice, so we'd better make good use of them. <laughs> yep, and travelers will be happy to know that there are a variety of rewards waiting in these events. In addition to primo gems and enhancement materials, rewards also include a new four-star bow called Ibis Piercer, along with its hmm. exclusive refinement materials. Yay! So exciting! Can you show its stats? <laughs> all right. Like That's for ones, all please. We have regarding the main event in the upcoming version. I guess. On to wait till the event to see what oh, it can oh, do. Wait, wait, wait! That may be all for the version event, but I still have something else to report. Oh. oh okay. In version 3.7, there'll not only be a oh, genius invocation event. 
but also a major update to the TCG game itself. What? Okay. Also, oh, TCG awesome. is getting what like a huge update. See in the new update. Yeah, all the archons so are coming. Oh shit! Version, many new cards will be added to Genius Invocation TCG. Venti, Zhongli, Raiden, and, and Nahida. Hell yeah! Cards. Amazing, right? <laughs> yeah. And it's also noteworthy that the cards of the Animo, Geo, Electro, and Dendro archons will also be available after the update. Ooh. Hell so yeah! Expect to see some incredible and fun new decks. Nice. Okay, that's I'm, be I'm quite meaning, the update. Uh, I'm meaning. I'm taking more. the Nahida so, card and writing so cards. Many cards being added. How could we fully enjoy them without some new game modes? So, in version 3.7, the Arena of Champions mode will be available too. Oh wow! And, and what will be a lot of TCG events in this update? I see. In this mode, travelers must use their deck to duel against each other and accumulate a total of five victories. Ooh. Five? You, you need to win five times? Even for a what, against duel. NPCs or...? Plus, three defeats will result in a failed challenge attempt. Oh no, it's PvP. So if oh, you're no. oh shit. If you're feeling confident about your deck and your TCG skills... So you, got, sure you gotta to win to five times in a row against real players. Shot. Okay, that sounds pretty intense. Or not, not in a row, just will don't lose three times. less experienced, you know, Maybe like okay, so this no. event is just really going to be the, for <laughs> no the TCG news, veterans. Okay, so another TCG mode is called the Forge Realms Temper, which will also be available. Oh, PvE, be okay. To figure the difficulty of the game mode, as well as to choose from a bunch of additional conditions to score extra points. Okay, perfect. I'll definitely be Yeah, Shao card, a Venti card. My deck's the best. <laughs> Dude, huh? I'm going to be so busy. What? What's Fuck. happening? <laughs> What is going that on? Sounds cute. Where is it coming from? <laughs> I got so caught up in listening to you <laughs> talking that I almost forgot that I'm on the job. Anyway, I was waiting for it to I start am. talking. Aww. Aww. I have an urgent delivery for you. Please sign here, and I'd really appreciate it if you could leave me a good review. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute. Yeah, <laughs> I guess we're talking about Kirara next. Oh, another redeem code. Nice, so like we're getting the Archons, we're getting an Electro Hypostasis, we're getting Xiao, we're getting Hu Tao. Like how many how many characters are like, how many cards are we gonna get in this update? Oh, I, look look at it down here. It's like Kirara chasing Yoi Mia. That's that's adorable. Right and Nahida will be OPAF. Yeah, I'm expecting them to be OP like together. Welcome back, traveler. Hey, Yoi Mia's actually here. Is Yoi Mia getting a rerun then? Dun, 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 dun. It's me. It's Jenny Okabori, the yeah. voice of Yoi Mia. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm so I actually really like Yui Mi's voice actor. Doing the special program, this is one of the most exciting moments of my life. Yay! Woo! <laughs> Yowdy, travelers. I'm Julia Gu, voice actress for the new playable character, Kirara. Okay, so you were in a kitty box just now, <laughs> so thank you for that urgent And she was delivery. a box the whole time. <laughs> yep, that's just Kirara's I don't know how job. she can turn into She's a, a box, but we're not going to question it. More like Purrier. Ooh! Purrier, really? Yes, <laughs> But before we get to hear more about Kirara, why don't we check her out first? Yay! Yes, show the gameplay. Whoa, the scenery here is wonderful. <laughs> I've landed the perfect job. Aw, <laughs> she's adorable. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think Yoimi is getting a rerun after like her voice actor showed up and she showed up in the trailer. Possibly Yai and Kazuma too. <laughs> She can turn into a box, that's fucking funny as shit. <laughs> yep, genuine cat girl right here. Oh my gosh, you want her to be my best friend? She's so cute! Her tails! <laughs> so cute. Her tails! Her I tails know. made a heart! That's the it's most adorable so thing I've ever seen! I so know! Cute. Did you guys see her in the little box? It was like, oh, she coming! Oh, she coming! Also, her <laughs> ult is like really cool. I want to so eat cute. the jellies. I want to eat those slimes. <laughs> Kiara works as a courier for Komania Express and often makes international deliveries. She's also a yokai from Inazuma called a Nekomata, and there's nothing she can't deliver. Oh, okay, that explains like the cute little kitty cat tails and why her shoes are like those cute little. Yes, cat she's an actual cat girl, girl unlike a Ching and Dio. And I want a pair. So, uh, actually, uh, those are just her regular feet. Oh, well, I'm embarrassed. For Kirara. Uh, even though okay, she so she just uh, legit has, has cat paws feet, for feet. She's still a Nekomata and feels more comfortable using her own claws to move. That and makes her sense. Own They're so cute. They really are. And also, Kirara has two tails. Can you tell us anything about that? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's it said that the tail represents a Nekomata's potential. 
So, hmm. with two tails, I guess this means that Kirara is a really powerful yokai. Some bandits might assume that Kirara is an easy target, thinking that it would be easy to steal a package from a young girl, Fools. but... <laughs> But they are in fact fools, and this mistake yes. always ends with the bandits running off after she gives them a good threshing. Always I'm be scared of people who don't look like so NPCs. Awesome. Just little <laughs> kitty cat girl boss. <laughs> like, okay, and having her as your courier basically like determines that your package is going to get there safe. That is incredible service. <laughs> oh yeah, no doubt about that. Kirara is a very responsible worker and will do her best to ensure every order she receives is delivered. Of course. If the Gotta say, yeah, she really looks like a female Goro. <laughs> like, a good review. <laughs> like, well, from oh the picture. Oh my gosh, she is so cute and diligent. I would definitely give her an extra tip. Yeah, right definitely pulling for her. Absolutely. Like, catnip, fish, Mora, whatever she wants. <laughs> okay, so how did a yokai from Inazuma end up working as a delivery person? What is, what's the, what's the line there? Okay, well, if you think about it, the yokai in Inazuma do seem to have a mix of jobs, so. True. Yeah. Well, speaking of which, even I mean, though Yaya is a shrine worker, yokai, Ito's. She does care about her work Ito. and enjoys her job. She also and enjoys Kudra Sarf's society, a general. fashion, going to places she's never had the chance to visit before. Her deliveries give her a way into human society and also allows her to explore new places. To her, working is basically like getting to take a series of uh, <clears throat> expense-free trips. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you know what I just realized? Charlotte is technically traveling for work too. So maybe they can get together and enjoy some expense-free outings. Cool. Okay, I think everyone is waiting to learn more about this yokai courier's abilities. Absolutely, yes, correct. Mm, can we also learn sure. more about Charlotte That's as well? Because I do want to. Oh. <laughs> Kirara is a dendro. Yeah, because she's the first, like the first Fontaine character. Her companions while also making world exploration more efficient. Okay, her attacks look amazing. She swipes just like a cat using its claws. I love it. <laughs> yeah, she is a Nekomata after all. Additionally, her hmm. exploration talent allows her to move near birds. Cast her skill out to create a shield of safe them. transport. She's an apex predator. I love it. <laughs> oh, so, That's so cool. So she is Aloy's passive. Get, like, foul <laughs> Damn, Aloy just getting completely <laughs> fucking. Timmy should watch his back. <laughs> being completely no, fucking like no. yes, Timmy. unusable. No. Sorry. Or just obsolete. <laughs> well, she's always going to keep you well fed, no matter the means. Uh, by tapping her elemental skill, Kirara creates a dendro shield that can protect her from harm. Okay, okay. she's great. a shielder. They'll keep both her and the delivery. <laughs> she's a backflip. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> mm -hmm. And holding down the elemental skill will not only <laughs> we'll turn her shields, into a box, but also put Kirara in a unique state. Cool. So the whole thing is that that's can you just stay like that in my entire life? And I need you to immediately tell me more about it. Right, meow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no problem at all. Thank you. Yes. In this Stop with the cat punts. Kirara will deal dendro damage upon slamming into enemies, but more uniquely, <laughs> you can just run them over. Also drastically increase her movement and climbing speed, along with her jumping ability. Okay. Um. You can climb using her skill. Cool. So just so I can get this straight, she'll be able to. Oh, just she's gonna be like a god when it comes to traversal. Oh, then. Yeah, she'll be able to. She go can climb up walls. In this state. Um. Okay. Well, that's amazing. The best thing ever. Okay. <laughs> she's gonna be so great for exploring. <laughs> And I guess that's one of the reasons yeah, why geez, that's gonna be that's, that's gonna, gonna make it fucking piss easy to get her around. And finally, with her elemental burst, she smashes the enemy with a special delivery package, which then explodes into numerous small dendro bombs. These bombs will then explode upon contact. Okay, enemies so like cleaves, like dealing skill. dendro damage. And can we just appreciate the fact that the bombs are kitty shaped? Because <laughs> I'm obsessed with that. <laughs> and yeah. just so cute. So cute. She has kitty styled attacks, kitty styled deliveries, and she also has kitty styled. I really, bombs. yeah, I really want to just. Can you just Amazing. hold her skill forever? She is L adorable. like just infinitely. So, or does it have like a Kirara running to stopping point? Because it'd be freaking busted if you could just do it infinitely. Leaving their home to explore the world. Ooh, so who wants to go on a trip? Oh my gosh, wait, is it you and Mia? Because you guys are like looking <laughs> oh, at me, a humble oh. PNG. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> humble PNG. <laughs> well, I think you might be knowledgeable about traveling what? across nations because you have You and Mia is getting an Mia Act 2 story, story quest? quest? I totally do. I was just being. So a far, singer. only the Archons have gotten an Act 2. 
Okay, so the Sakoku Decree has been repealed for some time now, and Yoimiya has been wanting to go out and see the outside world. In version 3.7, the second act to Yoimiya's Karasius Arata story quest is about to begin! She's like the first character that's not Archon to get an Act 2 story quest. Or, <laughs> or Yoimi is a Pyre Archon. It's not about just telling us. I mean, personally, wow, I, really okay. I wasn't expecting this. Too, not that I'm biased or anything. I seriously cannot wait to experience what happens in the 3.7 update. Okay, right? wow. Uh huh. And, you know, traveling with a girl is easygoing and cheerful and cool so, and amazing. I guess that part in the trailer was us joining Yui Mia for her story quest. I think she's probably, like, the best, like, travel companion. Again, not biased or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Yui Mia is a great character, I will admit that. She's quest, so much fun. I'm gonna be a good bean, and I will not <laughs> Yeah, yeah Venti's still waiting for his second story quest. Meanwhile, Yui here's Yui Mia. <laughs> I'll be good. Getting a second one. <laughs> That, that, that's nice of you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, see, I'm good. <laughs> but when the time comes, I hope you Mia's new story can brighten everyone's day just like she Okay, I'm excited for that. Things. Like, we never had this before. Yeah. Like, other than sure. the Archons, we never got, like, no, a no, yeah, Act 2 for any of the no, no, no. other playable characters. Just except honest. Venti. <laughs> <laughs> Rip also, Venti. Like, speaking of honesty, I was Honestly wondering what new companions can travelers invite for their teams in version 3.7. Right, that takes yes, us banners. to our event wishes. I think this is something our travelers are always interested in. It's for so, Yoi Mia, like Yai and Kazuha. Wishes, Just prediction. Please direct your attention to the big screen. Ta-da! No, uh, yeah, you and me uh, called I just it. Remembered that we're today's reporters. <clears throat> what? Oh. According to reliable sources, the first half of 3.7's event wishes will boost drop rates for Yoimiya and Yaimiko. That's kind of good, actually, time, because I don't Kirara have Yoimiya on my main, and I kind of want her on my main. Wishes, so travelers who want Kirara might want to take note. And the second half of version 3.7 Kazuha, event wishes. Okay, Kazuha, Kagahara, I predicted. Kazuha I'll hate them. I'll hate them I did not rerun. expect. Sarah, why are you talking like that? Because we're reporters. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> With the help of their companions, we hope that all our travelers will be able to be happily exploring Tavad. And now to Jenny with the weather. The weather is still weather. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> when travelers follow Yoimiya and Sumeru, they might also encounter their old friend Kave. Hey! Oh, Kave hangout event. Okay, that, event that's cool. So be available in version 3.7. <laughs> Lately, Genshin has been killing it with their hangout events, so I'm expecting his yeah, to be really good as well. Yeah, quite the character. Even though he seems super carefree, he has certain principles that he always clings to. I mean, I, I guess sure we kind of expected this after the uh, recent event. We'll to know him a lot better. Oh, we're gonna be besties in no time. <laughs> So travelers interested in learning more about Kaveh will get to experience his stories firsthand in version 3.7. Definitely Sweet. something to look forward to. Yay! Ooh. Yeah! Woo! Now that we've covered the new stories coming our way, I think okay, we can move on to some events. news about other fun events coming in version 3.7. What do you think? I think that's a very good idea, Yay! Sarah, my friend. <laughs> but yeah, okay, definitely so excited for the main events. events. But there will also be definitely going for Kazuha or Ohetham. rewards and prizes, too! Ooh! Ooh I'm yeah. so excited! Oh, be. so am I. I'm definitely gonna try and get Yui so, Mia on, uh, let me introduce or not get Yui Mia, gonna get Kirao on Yui Mia's banner. Seven, the Divine Ingenuity Collector's Chapter event will be available. Oh, I remember this event. This is the one that lets you design your own domain. Oh, oh right. Event. However, this event's gameplay has been upgraded a bit, and the development team has Yeah, this is like your, the make your own domain kind of levels. For example, yeah, I made like several one of these. You to build a mechanic to defend a monolith, and the second will be a coin collecting fiesta that everyone's familiar with. <laughs> mm. Okay, yes. Yeah, so I made story, one that's like absolutely hell, like the like the floor's lava kind of thing. <laughs> I already know I'm gonna be a little bit all over the place in this one. Yeah, this these events were fun. Okay. Yeah. As okay, kind of excited stage, for this one coming back. Be multiple areas available, and oh, and there's combat involved. Item. Artificer coins. Ooh. I want it. You're gonna get a lot of them. Thank you. These coins will allow people to buy various that? Thank buffs you. from buff stations located in each area to boost their team's effectiveness. Ah, nice. okay, okay, so, so they really changed how stronger as we progress. Exactly. How this works. The fourth stage requires everyone to keep their characters alive while they go around collecting coins. The last stage features a buff bestower device capable of amplifying your opponent's capabilities, so you're gonna want to destroy that first before engaging them in battle. Wait, oh, there's so oh, much to do. you have to level up okay, your trial so characters along confirm. the 
Okay, you that's kind of neat. All of this. And then, yeah, of course, you can, like, your make your own domain. Yes. yes. <sighs> Aside from different landforms, mechanisms, or coins, travelers can also adjust how many stages are active per room. I can already tell. I'm going to spend a shit ton of time on this. Even buffs and buff bestowers can be placed inside these stages. Yeah, I'm going to spend a that's long, so cool. long time okay, on doing so this. It sounds like the travelers will have even more creative freedom this time around. So, what I'm gathering is that everyone should use their imagination and sprinkle as much creativity as they can into their designs, yeah. you know, a little bit I'm here, definitely going to make, like, there, tons and tons of domains, of and then I'll just share them to you guys. <laughs> well, hopefully they'll also Because this is... I like this kind of thing. Ingenuity as well. But, um, Holy shit, there's so many things you can <laughs> adjust. Said, ingenuity, traps, tomato, tomato, yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely be well, doing this a lot. Like, making sure, domains and also trying out other people's creative. domains. Oh, dear. Uh, this time, there will also be co-op mechanics for this game mode. So if there's a stage you can't beat on your own, you can bring your friends and try the challenges. Ah, or, you can uh, suffer together. <laughs> together. Yeah. And remember, domain creators All right, also you can only make up the five. Their own designs before they'll right. be able to share them with others. Okay, seriously, how do people clear some of these stages? They seem like they're going to be really difficult. Uh, I don't have a good answer for you other than the fact that people are kind of amazing. Yeah, that's I don't know fair. Insane, <laughs> Some people just people don't touch grass for a while. Their own stages, and it's crazy. It's amazing. They just oh, stay absolutely. away from it like it's a plague. So, I hope all our creative travelers out there won't miss this event. Remember to share your codes or videos and let everyone play your domains. Oh, I definitely will. Okay, so next, we have a challenge event called the Feast of the Departed Warriors. Oh, boy. A mysterious okay. domain has Is it going to be like the, the hypostasis coast, event? The depths are Except way worse. Powerful foes. Travelers will need to rely on their martial prowess to defeat them and earn rewards. Ooh, Departed Warriors. Sounds spooky. <laughs> I thought so, too. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this event should be one that many travelers are familiar with. Yep. However, let me give a quick overview for anyone who oh. might not have seen this one yet. Thank you, sir. Oh, right, this, this one. It's like you fight each one with like a specific challenge. And then at the end, you fight all three at the same time. Eon oh, boy. And the Bethismal Bishop Herd That's gonna be hell. Travelers can also add additional yep. conditions to their yep, difficulty this. multiplier in this challenge, with increased difficulty resulting in greater rewards. Okay, I, I think I get the gist of this one. I heard Thunder Manifestation and my heart stopped a little bit. So full disclosure, I'm probably not going to be doing the increased difficulty, <laughs> but I hope everyone's ready for you and me, <laughs> You and me, you're good against the, <laughs> like, the, the Thunder Don't Manifestation. Worry. What are you worried about? You can still get key rewards and materials by completing the challenge on lower like difficulties. She's a boss against this boss. <laughs> Travelers who are looking for a real challenge can try the higher difficulties for a proper fight. I heard lower difficulty, oh boy. and I once again feel safe. Cool beans. <laughs> Let's move on to the next event. <laughs> okay, so this one is another returning event for version 3.7 called Phase Trials Hypothesis. All right. Wait, what were the so phase trials some again? Of you remember Jamie, the Sumeru researcher who was struggling with his thesis proposal? Well, this time he needs your help as observers in an experiment. We're pretty sure all our warm-hearted and friendly travelers will give him a hand. Also, as a little, you know, incentive, um, each experiment also offers rewards upon completion. Of course we're gonna help him. Besides, okay, I guess this is just in a combat event. Our help, so what's there to lose? Exactly. <laughs> right? So, I mean, given our travelers are honorary knights of the Knights of Favonius, and heroes who have assisted the Liyue Qixing, as well as, uh, actually everyone, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they helped out the whole much everybody at this point four countries at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Well, helping this one researcher should be just another walk in the park. Okay, so during the event, travelers can defeat enemies to gain phase tinctures. Hey, when get enough phase they tinctures, gave Daya the, the freaking the bell. State. Koya, what are you doing? State, identify the weaknesses of their I mean, I guess she benefits battle, off of HP, but still. Opportune moments to capture more weaknesses in their opposition hey, Hoya, when, when are those Dea buffs? To deal massive damage. Ooh, having the ability to detect weaknesses is very helpful when facing challenges. Not to mention, the damage dealt by this super sense skill is pretty incredible. Oh, it's oh, really yeah. cool. All right, <laughs> so get this, really the useful. time stop thing and then, take care of yeah, you just a... vaporize no. everybody. Yeah. Taking a picture. Zawodo. Yeah, I didn't know <laughs> you were going to be channeling your inner Sino. I didn't know. <laughs> Perfect. 
Okay, but remember, this event requires you to use the corresponding trial characters for the challenge. Ooh, good. Oh, good. Okay, this way, everyone will be able to try Okay, so you can't characters. just exactly. use your own characters. Okay, there's seriously so much for all of us to experience in version 3.7. And, hmm. <laughs> oh, would you look at the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, the third redemption code is coming right up. Let's have a look together. Here it comes. Yay! Get ready. All right, pretty good patch, I gotta say. I'm really excited for the, like, yeah, the TCG event. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, wow, look at the head. That's that's a really cool art. But I do gotta say, Alhatham's a bit out of place in this one. Like, why? First, one, why is Alhatham getting a rerun this early? Two, is he even involved in this event at all? Like, I, I like I feel like Alhatham has no interest in TCG whatsoever. They screwed Yui Mia so bad, they put her next to Kazuha again. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, a lot of people are gonna want Kazuha over Yui Mia. Shit, you're right. And that's the end of today's report. It seems like all our reporters have returned to the studio now, which means we've reached the conclusion of our program. This has been Dude, so tell us more about fun. Charlotte. I, I want to know about already. more about her. So I know. I wish we had even more to share. So how did you all enjoy being on the program today? Oh my gosh, it has been so, so cool being on the program and... Oh, I can't wait for people to hear Kirara. Oh, she's so cute. I just she is ah. so cute. <laughs> You're yeah, definitely most excited so for. Fun. I've been the wanting to do one of these programs for dual, the longest time, like, and I'm so excited TCG to event. be here and talk about you and Mia. And also, I'm super excited for Julia and Maya to be joining the cast to welcome <laughs> you guys. Yeah. It's been long to <laughs> Oh this my gosh. I didn't expect this us to like, yeah, meet so a new character in this stream. Today, and um, I am just also really excited. For she really does look like Yanfei. Like with a monocle. Yeah. <laughs> so excited, yeah. especially the Evermotion mechanical painting. Mini games, big excitement. <laughs> Yes, because <laughs> I just I just love the puzzles. I just love them. <laughs> Don't forget, there's a strange case to investigate at the tournament ground, so Ooh. players should be sure to check that mm. out. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I was happy to join the program with you. Also, all. how many all TCG cards are already adding in this update? Three point seven with everyone. So like, I wish it just showed us like all the new cards. In the upcoming update. <laughs> all right, this is the end of our program. Thank you so much. All right, much this for was a good live stream. Everyone. Bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> bye. 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 Guys. <laughs> bye. 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 That's a Fontaine tease for sure. Okay, so yeah, that's con that's confirmation in Fontaine. We're gonna be going underwater. Just not nothing much. Just we're just gonna be able to actually swim in the water this time. Let's go. That's hype. Actually, that's that's really hype. I thought they were gonna like show us Fontaine, but no, they're just teasing the fact that we can swim, which is still pretty good. I gotta say. All right, and that was a pretty pretty good like a uh, special program. Holy shit. Okay, so let's recap everything we know so far. Yeah, the main event is this TCG event involving Charlotte, Hirara, Hu Tao, Kaya, Kokumi, and Sino. So it's like a like a nationwide TCG tournament. And then, yeah, we're just going to be playing TCG. There's going to be new TCG cards as well. Raiden. Yeah, all the Archons are getting a card. We're getting also like a Electro Hypostasis. We're getting Xiao as a card. We're getting Hu Tao as a card. And probably others as well that we don't know about. But yeah, we're getting a lot of TCG content in this update. Like the main event is just us just going all over like uh, Teyvad with Charlotte and Hirara to just investigate a mystery of some sorts while also having fun at the TCG tournament. And then there's also Yoimiya's second story quest, which was surprising because so far they've only done it for the Archons. There's also Kaveh's hangout event. So yeah, pretty excited for that, for like, yeah, Kaveh's hangout event. And then there's also like those, a few filler events here and there, like the domain challenge one, which looks fun. There's also the yeah, the face trials, which is also another combat event. And there's also the ones with the three bosses, the giant rune drake, the two dragons in Enkanamiya, and also the the thunderbird. Fuck. <laughs> How did I forget all these names? It's just like a really hard domain involving those guys. Pretty much the hypostasis challenge, but on steroids. And then yeah, for banners, we got um, Yoimiya and Yai in the first half. Along with Kirara, being the four star on both of their banners. I'm definitely gonna be pulling for Kirara. And then in the second phase, there's Kazuha and Alhatham. Both of their reruns, yeah, coming in the second phase of 3.7.
And uh, yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. That's all that covers for 3.7. So yeah, pretty satisfied with this live stream. And I definitely can't wait for this TCG event. It looks so fun, especially the fact we get to visit all four regions. Like, I, I want to see like Hu Tao dueling Kaya and see the shit storm that unfolds. <laughs> like when the two of them like talk shit to each other. Like, that's going to be fun. I wonder if the Archons will go to Cat's Tail to play TCG with us. <laughs> That'd be fucking awesome, I gotta say. Just like... <laughs> just ride in just like i know i got a i got a whole country to manage but i just come here to um play a bit of tcg with you by the way what's tcg <laughs> what are these still cards what do they do it's just <laughs> a being a boomer i mean i can see venti like playing some tcg zhongli being the old man he is i don't i don't think he's into tcg but <laughs> it'd be fun to play against him nahida i think nahida would be interested in playing tcg although it's, it is kind of funny the picture like she would just read our minds and just figure out our next move that's that's cheating <laughs> The Archon, we can't possibly play against the Archons. But yeah, definitely, definitely really, really excited for this event. And I cannot wait to see what else they uh, show for us in the update. Yeah, I can't wait to see also like Charlotte as well. I did not expect us to see a brand new character, much less a character from Fontaine. And yeah, she, I like her design, honestly. I almost mistaken her for Yanfei at first, but <laughs> Yanfei doesn't have a monocle. Yeah, she's going to be a playable character. Is Does she have a vision on her? Is that her vision? Like... I think that's her vision. She is, is she Hydro? I think she has a Hydro vision. So, I mean, she's from Fontaine, the nation of Hydro. So makes sense. Yeah, I wonder yeah, when we're going to actually get her as a playable character. Probably in 4.0. <laughs> I mean, we can hope she like comes out sooner. But yeah, that concluded for today's live stream, everybody, for both the 3.7 special program and concluding today's live stream watch party as well. Do let me know in the comments down below what are your thoughts on the 3.7 special program. Leave a like on the stream if you enjoyed it as well. And subscribe today if you want to see some more videos or streams from me. And yeah, once 3.7 comes out, of course, I'll be streaming it live uh, for all of you guys to see. And we'll be pulling for Kirara. We'll be doing the event when it's available. And yeah, just doing everything that 3.7 has to offer us. But yeah, with all that said, guys, Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again in the next stream. Take care, and have a good night.